was in a classroom when I was still in school. And the teacher in this session said that Americans read the most self-help books per capita or self-improvement books, if you will. And everyone in that classroom sort of took that as a bad, bad thing, you know? People were going, oh, that's so cringe or what have you. They're using semantics like that. Very good. And I had to disagree because I thought, okay, but look at the results, right? So obviously in the Western world, we're often portrayed this idea that America is the haven on earth which I think has a point, but I also don't think is entirely true. But anyway, one thing that I will always stand by is the American confidence, because look at the results. In my opinion, if an American wants to be, I don't know, a football player or what have you, they're not going to go, yeah, but I'm too old now and all this crap, unless they're like pushing 100 or something. They're going to learn how to play football, maybe read a couple books on it, if that'll help, I don't know and then learn how to do it and be the best football players that they could possibly be. And let's see where that takes them. And also, this is just another thing. This isn't even about Americans anymore. In what universe is it a bad idea to read a self-help book? Let's take other options into consideration for just one second. Let's say, hypothetically, right, that you have two options. You either read a self-help book on how to improve yourself in your life, or you mindlessly scroll on TikTok for nine hours and don't consume anything and fry your non-existent attention span even further. What is a better option? I think it will be the former because first of all, you ain't catching me dead on TikTok. Number two, if you're reading a self-help book like, yeah, okay, might not be the best book in the world, what have you, but it means that you are willing to take the steps further into improving your life and understanding the foundations of what you need to do or try to implement into your life in order to make your life better instead of just sinking further into the mud and being like oh yeah my life's terrible and not trying to at least do anything about it and that's another thing americans i think are far more supportive of each other like i often hear british podcasters who i used to listen to back in the day you know they would often say that british people in general which i don't necessarily think is true either they like to tear each other down now what that means is that basically let's say a british person starts becoming monumentally successful right their friends around them are probably going to want to take them down a couple levels so that they are maintained on a very similar level, quite a Eastern Bloc ideology, if you will. And I certainly understand that. I certainly have experienced that here especially. But then again, is that a good mindset to have that if you see someone being more successful than you, you want to tear them down? I don't think that's a successful or a good mindset to have whatsoever. I think it's far better to have the American mindset of confidence, even if it is delusional, because even if it is delusional, a delusional person is far more likely to try it out than a person who might have the actual talent, but someone who's been made to feel far too insecure by the people around them. The, the diamond that is insecure is going to be far less successful than the non-talented person who's delusional as hell and thinks they're better than what they are.